Hello everybody this is Nishi here and welcome back to our Icon Scout 3D series In the last video we learned how to combine multiple assets to create a composition In this video I will show you how you can add basic motion to your assets and how you can convert it into a lotti A lotti is much lighter than your gif and it can be interactive too and that's what makes it a perfect fit for us to use it for our various design cases Now let's begin by opening our Blender file. I have downloaded this very cute asset from our very own Icon Scout platform. Let's add simple motion to this and make the fan of our windmill spin. But before that, let's navigate to our animation view from here. We can see that we have a timeline over here and there are two views here on top. But for now, we don't really need two different views, so I think we can get rid of the left view by right-clicking at the border of these two views and saying Join Areas. You can now collapse whichever view that you don't want to see. Now let us go ahead to animate our fan. In order to do that, first choose the blades of this fan one by one by pressing down Shift. In the timeline below here. Press the jump to end point arrow to reach the first frame. Here at the bottom in the end section, enter how many frames or how long you would want your animation to play for. I want to create a very short animation, so I'm just going to say 30 frames over here and hit enter. Now let's get back to the blades of our fan. Once all your blades are selected, hit I on your keyboard. As soon as you do that, you can see that an insert keyframe menu appears. Over here, choose whichever parameter you intend to change. In this case, we want only the blades to spin, so I'm going to choose rotation. But if you were animating a ball that was spinning and bouncing at the same time, you would choose location and rotation. And say that your ball was even increasing and decreasing in size at the same time it was spinning and bouncing. So in that case you would have to choose location rotation and scale. But for now I think I can just choose rotate from here because I just want my blades to spin. You can see that as soon as I chose rotate we just locked the current position of our blades on keyframe number 1. Now let us go all the way to our last frame by pressing the icon over here. Now all we have to do is rotate our fan blades and confirm its position on the last frame. So for that hit R on your keyboard to rotate followed by how many degrees do you want to rotate your fan by. So in this case I want a full 360 degree rotation so I'm going to hit R and then 360. Once you're happy with its final position In this case my last frame matches my first frame so I'm just going to go ahead and hit I and lock the position of this in by clicking on rotate once again. You can now see that another keyframe has been added on my last frame this time. Now let us just play our animation and see what we get. Perfect our fan is now animating. I really like how it's slowing down towards the end and then picking back up again. Let's change our view and view our asset from our rendered view. Now in order to convert this animation into a lotti, we will first have to export this as a PNG sequence. So for that, let's navigate to our render settings over here. Right over here under the sampling, under the render samples, you can enter a value for your max samples. Please remember that larger the value, more time it is going to take to render. From here you can navigate to your output settings from output over here specify a path or choose a folder where you would like to save all these images I would like to save it here in the animation folder so I'm just going to select that and say accept Once that's done you can see that your frame range is already set to 1 to 30 and that's fine So once all these settings are done just go to render and say render animation You can see that your animation is now getting rendered out frame by frame. Perfect. We can see that our render is now complete and here is a series of PNG images that we just exported. Now in order to export this as a lotti, let us open up our after effects. 
From here, let's click on New Composition. Specify the dimensions of your composition here and also mention the duration of your animation. My animation is 30 frames and this seems to be already set to 1 second so I'm not going to change that and say OK. Now let us bring in our image sequence. For that go to File and say Import. From here choose File again and select all the images that we just rendered out. Just make sure that under the sequence options, you keep the PNG sequence button checked off because we want to import these images as individual images and not as a bunch. And say import. You can see that all these images have now appeared over here. Let's just drag it out here so it appears on our timeline. Now with all our images selected, let us just reduce this down to one frame. Now with all our images selected once again, let us go to animation and from here say keyframe assistant. Over here choose sequence layers. We don't need to overlap any images so just keep that off and say ok. You can now see that our windmill is getting perfectly animated in our after effects timeline. Now all that's left to do is export a lottie. In order to export this PNG sequence as a Lottie, we will use the Body Movement plugin for After Effects. If you don't have this plugin installed, make sure you do it. I've mentioned the link below. So from here, let us now go to Window and say Extensions. From here, click on Body Movement. You can see that our Composition Windmill is listed right here. From here, go to Settings. You can leave all these options as is, but just navigate to the Assets tab. Over here, make sure that you choose the Include in JSON option over here. This will ensure that all your rasterized images get embedded in the JSON export. Now you can leave all of these as it is and say Save. From here, choose the folder where you would like to save your JSON file. So I'd like to save it over here in the animation folder itself. I'm going to call it Windmill Lottie and hit save. Perfect. Now let's just choose this composition that we just created and say render. This is now going to render our animation frame by frame. Perfect. This is done. Now let us go to our Lottie files platform and check the Lottie which just exported. And perfect, there you go. We just made a Lottie from Blender. Isn't that great? So that's it for this video folks. In the upcoming video, I will show you how we can use assets from Icon Scout and create design use case mockups with it. So stay tuned. This is Nishi signing off. Thank you so much and have an awesome day ahead. Bye.